everyone, and welcome to another episode of QuirkCast, your number one dev resource for all things Quirk. I'm community nerd and your host, Timber. Hi. And I am video producer, Kelly. In fact, I'm producing this video right now. Now. Check your levels. Oh, yeah. No, we're good. They were good? We are good? Yeah. Awesome. Good producing, Kels. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is Kels a phenomenal producer, but she's also a great interior decorator and painter. I mean, look at this. Look, look at Look at it. our new set. We painted some walls. Yes. We did it. We did it. To I'm looking space. at my monitor over here, not just into space. <laughs> <laughs> I like the clarification. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, what do we have on the Quirkcast this week? Uh, today we have a exciting episode uh, all about gizmos. Uh, we're going to be talking to executive producer of Quirk, uh, Jess LeBeau, mm. uh, about the beginnings of gizmos all the way to what uh, we hope gizmos will be in the future. Sounds exciting. Yeah. Following that, we also have our concept artist, Jack Jack, who's going to be showing us early concepts concepts of gizmo parts that are coming to you guys in an update in the future. Ooh, Soon. super first look. Yeah, super Ooh. first look. So, Can't wait. Yeah. Let's get started. All right. All right, and now we have the gizmo feature, which is a really uninspired name. So if you guys think of anything better, let us know in comments and we'll use it for our next show when we talk about gizmos. Please help us. We're not very clever today. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless of the name, I am here with the Jess Lebeau. Hello. Hello. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this episode to talk about gizmos. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so first, uh, a lot of people are probably confused right now. Who are you and what do you do here? That's often the question that I get, and it does confuse people. Um, my name is Jess, Jess Lebeau. I am the executive producer, one of the original founders of the company, and, you know, I just do a lot of stuff. You do do a lot of stuff. You mm -hmm. kind of have your hands in every... A little bit, yeah. Everything. Yeah. Very cool. So you, you are the big man on the hill. Some say that, yes. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. I got, got nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> so, Jess, you kind of uh, were the first people to come up with the concept of gizmos. Can you tell me in your own words, what are gizmos to you? So, uh, gizmos are user-generated toys. Um, and, I, you know, I can't really take credit for, for them. It was really a team effort. Um, to be honest with you, um, I was on vacation and when I came back to the studio someone said hey we've been talking we have this idea and it wasn't exactly what gizmos are now mm -hmm. but it was more like um, battle bots you know you right. make a little thing and you set it off to go destroy another thing and which is still a very cool idea yeah. uh, but uh, we sort of talked it out and uh, and I was like okay this sounds cool let's talk and we had several meetings and so it was really a, a collaborative effort um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say they're, they're just toys, user-generated toys. Awesome. So that, that kind of nixed another question I had, which was, okay. what was the inspiration? <laughs> which uh, was those battle bots, but we kind of have that tucked in. There's, no yeah, way. I mean, we have wanted to make this this game to be really about user-generated content, right? Give the tools to the players to be able to create and build whatever they wanted. Um, but I think it might be a little overwhelming at times to say, here's a giant empty world, fill it up. Right. So we've experimented with a lot of different things, including smaller like home bases and then gizmos. And these seem to be the most popular right now. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. People are having so much fun with the gizmos. Um, so when you first were coming up with kind of this concept of, of gizmos, and we were discussing that a lot, um, how did you initially envision gizmos? Like what, what was the long-term goal that you saw when we were first discussing this? The long-term goal, uh, well, so... You know, our process, as you know, is very fluid, right? right. We, we start somewhere and we see where it goes and it sort of evolves over time. So um, what our long-term goal was at the time and what it will be are very different things. Right. Um, right. But, but I think we wanted, um, we, we started out with the idea of toys, right? That you were going to create something, the physics engine in the game was going to take it over you, be able to do fun things with it. Uh, and then we decided it would be really fun if you could drive them, um, fly them. Yeah. And then, you know, I think we want them to at some point be able to be, you know, have AI, right? And be able to kind of be like build your own pet. Um, and so that's, that's kind of the hope. We'll see how, you know, how that goes. It, it could become far more than that. 
you know. Very cool, very cool. Uh, so you kind of know about some of the concepts uh, that we're going forward uh, with gizmos, things like the flying gizmos and the uh, airplanes and stuff. Do you envision any other functionality for it aside from driving and flying? What are kind of your hopes for functionality in the future? Uh, you know, there's lots of things on the drawing board. I, I don't know exactly. I mean, I, I do want them to have these some sort of autonomous behaviors at some point. Yeah. Uh, I do want them to be able to um, do things that you kind of set them in motion, right? Mm -hmm. I still think this BattleBot idea is is very cool, right? I, I create a thing. I don't have to necessarily drive it. Yeah. It it can go and put it in an arena, and it can do a thing. And maybe it's in your home base, or maybe it's in you know an arena, or um, and and uh, honestly, I'm hoping that the players are going to tell us what they want from it once we've mm -hmm. given them some stuff, yeah. and that we'll get feedback and we'll we'll evolve it based on that feedback. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. yeah, hear that, guys? Let us know in the comments uh, below what you want to see for the future of Gizmos. Uh, you know, we have Jess here, he's listening. He's listening to you guys, uh, we all are, and we would love to hear your thoughts on Gizmos currently, as well as the future of it. So, drop below, just do it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so, that kind of answered that you're really good at like preemptively answering these <laughs> questions, so uh, I don't appreciate that at all. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I just like to talk. You the test before the class. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I guess we probably should have run through them and tell me where to stop because yeah. I will tell you a story for too long. No, I, please I do. That's what we're here for. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, I do have kind of a, a silly question. Uh, flying or driving, which do you prefer personally for gizmos? That's a really good question. Um, uh, so I'm one of those people where if you ask me what do I, what's my favorite, my favorite drink, my favorite food or whatever, it really depends on the mood I'm in. So it's really tough for me to give you a, a straight answer and that's totally unsatisfying and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> um, um, I think I actually prefer driving because we've got these sticky tires and you can drive up the wall and then you see how far you can go and then you'll fall back and that's really fun for me and I, I keep wanting to try to do stunts when I'm in the air falling um, but I think as flying evolves that's gonna become more fun mm -hmm. uh, and then there's other things like you know maybe you're gonna bounce and maybe you're gonna you know have parachutes and I don't you know I don't know I'm making that's this up really but yeah exciting. some fun stuff. Yeah. Are you uh, are you excited to have a co-pilot eventually? We we did talk about that. Um, we want so one of the things I notice when I play is that people are always trying to get on my mm -hmm. gizmo and ride along with me, and I, I. But you, it's unsatisfying right now, right? Someone right. jumps on, and you drive away, and they sort of slide off. Yeah. It would be really fun to have a passenger seat so you could jump in yeah. and do stuff, right? Um, so we're 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 working on. I yeah. love that idea. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. <laughs> Other than ejector seat, it's my favorite. So that's a really cool idea, right? Mm -hmm. So you get a seat and then you can eject people. Yeah. Uh, or you, yourself. Yeah. Or yeah. yourself. Or yeah. you're just over like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. We're done here. Uh, I want an ejector seat for every part of my life. Really. Well, that would be really nice very to just useful. have. <laughs> very useful. I, I do want to see... Um, I do want to see gizmos and with passengers be able to be used in um, in competitive matches, so that you can Ooh. drive around in a in a match and be able to um, do combat, you know, and that sort of thing, yeah. or, or you know, do rampage where you're both working to because I think cooperative stuff is fun. Yeah, right? absolutely. You know, I, I prefer cooperative to competitive, or, or or cooperative in my competitive stuff. I I prefer to play ping pong with two people, yeah. you know, on my side and that sort of thing, yeah. Very cool. Nice. Wow, you guys heard it first, so. Ooh. Right, so are, is that something that um, that you can tell people that we are actively working on, or is it in concept? Where are we with that idea of having it in our matches? We're working our way towards yeah. that, yeah. Very cool, awesome. Uh, and uh, I also have, what is your favorite thing to do with gizmos? You talk a little bit about, about going uh, up the walls and doing tricks. Is there uh, some other stuff that you just love to get in your vehicle and, and do while you're in the commons? Uh, running over baddies is really <laughs> <Rude>. fun. <Wow. laughs> it's totally rude. You just uh, hurt a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, well... I have a longer history with baddies than most of our players, right? <laughs> that, that's so. true. That's true. Can you? Can you? I'm curious now what that means. So you know, the baddies that we have now have certain behaviors 
and they didn't always have certain behaviors. Right. They were were not. Uh, they're, then they're not particularly smart right now, but they <laughs> were less smart before and you would get swarmed by them. And um, I've fought a lot of baddies. And so running them over sometimes is very satisfying because <laughs> I, I have, <laughs> I remember what they were like when they were very buggy. Right, yeah. right. You kind of have a vendetta against the baddies. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, one of my, one of our favorite things to do originally had a, um, what we called a bad, uh, not a baddie gun. It was a, it was a, a bait gun. Oh yes, the cheese! <laughs> you could shoot, you could shoot stinky cheese, and the baddies would go to the stinky cheese. And so we had a whole. We were working on a game mode where you try to lure the baddies into someone's base, the other team's base, and uh, you could pick up the cheese and throw it, and you could do all sorts of stuff. And it was amusing. We 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 never made it really super fun. Right, right. I'd like to go back to that and make that fun at some point, but yeah, or, but, uh, yeah so. But, but they, they got, the baddies got a little overwhelming. You know? Right, yeah. right. No, fair, fair. I think that'd be super fun. You could attach it to gizmos and stuff. I, I just, I like that idea of having mm -hmm. my own personal hoard. They were <laughs> <laughs> Put sticky cheese on the back My of your sons. gizmo. The, the Pied Piper of baddies, the they're following you around. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Oh, I am so excited for the future of gizmos. Uh, do you have any final comments you want people to know anything? Any thoughts on your, your gizmos? Um, only that we're very serious about wanting to hear what people really want. Um, mm -hmm. We have a very firm belief that uh, that we think we know what's fun to start, but yeah. but what people are really doing with the gizmos and how they want them to evolve is really should be in the hands of the players. So yeah. we really Absolutely. need that yeah. that feedback so that we can develop. And you know, it takes time, right? These things yeah. take time, but um, we're prepared to do the work. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Those are really good fun. It kind of cuts to the core <laughs> of uh, Quark. So thank you so much, Jess, for giving us an idea of where Gizmo started and, and what you're hoping for the future. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Yeah. Okay, don't go anywhere, though. You're, you're here for another few minutes with me, though, as we take a look at your Gizmos. I have a compiled a... Uh, gallery uh, full of the gizmos that we're going to go through and talk about. And uh, Jess, do you mind lending your thoughts on these player-made gizmos? Sure, I'm really excited um, because I, I tend to make gizmos in a particular fashion. Yeah. And I think everybody's different style and they're, uh, I just I like seeing what they yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's dive right in. So first up, uh, actually the first two is Dogstar. Uh, Z, who arguably is one of our very best builders in game. Um, mm -hmm. uh, he, he just is very creative, uh, which I think you'll see in his gizmos as well. So first up, we have Dogstar Z's round bouncy contraption. <laughs> um, this was one of my favorite designs because it's just such a unique block for gizmos. Uh, mm -hmm. A little bit unpredictable, uh, but what do you... He does have words. He did build this uh, to see what it would be like to dash with no <laughs> wheels and only a ball around. So that was his experiment. Okay, this is this is the this is the epitome. This is the core of what we wanted Gizmos to be, right? Yeah. I mean, we wanted you to be able to make a thing and then go. I wonder what this will do if I do it this way. And so <laughs> that's great. Um, and the physics engine is built to be able to allow you to experience really strange things when that happens. So I think that's very clever. It's yeah. super cool. Awesome. And then his next one, a little bit more conventional, mm. um, but I believe he built this almost directly after we added some of our uh, pirate things. Mm -hmm. uh, so I really loved seeing uh, seeing that, and it looks really functional. It does. It reminds me of the. Have you seen the new Mars rover that NASA? Yeah. Yeah. I've been driving around New York City. It mm -hmm. looks a lot like that rover. Um, yeah. And I love his avatar. Look at that hair. That With the spiky hair? Yes. Super good. He looks straight out of one piece. It's okay if you don't know <laughs> what that means. I know some people will get it. It's super cool. The extra wheels are, are great and the, the, the treasure chest on the back and the pirate flag. It's, it's very good. Yeah. Very good. Nice job, Dark Star Z. Thank you. Um, and if you guys want to see your gizmos, your selfies, anything that you've created featured on our Quarkcast, um, let us know. Send it to us uh, via our Discord at discord.gg slash quirk is where I pull most of these from. And we would love to see you in our community chat. So. Next up, we have 
Uh, we have Heckery. Uh, we have a GIF. Uh, Heckery is <laughs> really good at capturing small uh, uh, snippets of what's going on in Commons, and uh, yeah. Oh, awesome. So this is just a big block of trampolines yep. uh, put on a basically a launch pad in, into the stratosphere. That's wow. Yeah. Uh, no word yet on if he broke through the world, <laughs> uh, which he has done <laughs> or, before. Or if he's actually landed yet, right? Yeah, he could still be floating in there. <laughs> uh, he also has another video of him actually launching himself out. It became a studio favorite GIF yeah. of ours. Uh, another gizmo that he made uh, broke through our barriers. I remember barriers. seeing that. Yes, um, that uh, uh, in the same sort of vein, right? Let's see what happens if you if you test yeah. the limits of the the physics system. Yeah. It's very good. I like giving kids this outlet to experiment within the concept of video games. Well, it's you can't, harmless. you know, right? Exactly, right? You can't. You can't throw things against the wall in your in your real life bedroom, but you can in in the, ours. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, uh, Huckery, for sharing that. Uh, I'm excited to see what you break next in Cork. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying. Mm -hmm. Get him something special it. for that. Uh, next up, we have Omelette, another uh, one of our Discord users. Uh, this one's cute. Uh, he posted this one because he wanted to make a traveling balloon sales cart. That's great. That's <laughs> great. It's um, so. I see the balloons. I see the what? Are, what are the host blocks? Uh, they're the ramps. He, they're the other side of the ramp. Yeah, he made the ramps as as kind of a counter. That is. Great. The one of our sort of core hopes was that people would take things and repurpose them mm -hmm. into things that we weren't expecting them to, and that's exactly what I was hoping to see. That's fantastic. That's yeah, fantastic. beautiful. I love the imagination to, yeah. to play pretend. I remember playing pretend mm -hmm. as kids, like outside and in my house, and right. but we didn't really have. The, this was still up and coming with video games, uh, so it's really cool to see kids uh, use their imaginations. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we hope to get more blocks to allow that sort yeah. of thing without making it too complicated, right? Because you're, you're right, like my brother and I would grab a stick and that's a sword or <laughs> yeah, a yeah, gun yeah. or a, I don't know what, a car we were racing with, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Love it. Nice job, Omelette. Uh, this one comes from Tara Polly. Uh, I really just, I don't know what it was about this one, but I didn't. I've never seen a gizmo like this before, with the wheels on the sides. And the first thing I did when we got the sticky wheels was build a, a wall of wheels up the front of my. I only had. I didn't have them up the sides like that. I had just four, and then I had a. a and I didn't go three high. I went just too high because what I wanted to do was run right into the wall and drive right up, mm -hmm. and it worked. And I was like, "This is really cool." <laughs> but this, uh, with the trampolines in particular, right? Because if you if you go, you probably can get the loop de loop, mm -hmm. and then you'll you'll probably fall, and oh. then you'll probably bounce. That's probably a really fun ride. I really like the physics behind that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it just it was very thoughtful. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So Very this smart. is our last one. Uh, it comes from, I believe uh, her name is translated to Queenie. Uh, she's another one of our nice. Discord friends. Uh, and I chose this because I liked the, she has got a whole theme going on. Yeah. Uh, and I really, really liked it. Uh, also one of the first boats that I've seen. Yeah, super cool. Uh, also the mixing of the, the ninja and the pirate mm -hmm. uh, outfits to be like, yeah, I can be a ninja and a pirate at the same time. What about it? Yeah, uh, why not both? Right, she said, why not both? Uh, right. And some feedback from her, uh, which we got this morning, was she had wished that she could take the springs and actually rotate them horizontal to make kind of a hoverboard effect as well. So that that's Queenie's hope for the future. Very interesting. Uh, we hope to have the springs be more than just what they look like now, have some yeah. sort of physics on them at some point too. So that'll be fun. Oh, there you go. So you might not even want them horizontal at that point to get the full spring in them, huh? Or, or maybe, maybe you maybe do. You want them as bumpers mm -hmm. or something. I don't yeah. Know. yeah, there's a lot you could do with that. Very cool. And that is what we got for our community uh, showcase. All about gizmos. Um, thank you for lending your your thoughts on our, our community. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, awesome. We'll see you next time, Jess. Great. Thanks. Huge thanks to our executive producer, Jess LeBeau, for giving us a glimpse into the past, present, and future of gizmos. Really appreciate that. Yes, it was quite a gizmo carol, if you will. <laughs> it was. Goats, ghosts of all kinds. Of all kinds. <laughs>
All right. Uh, up next, we have our concept artist, Jack Jack, <laughs> who's uh, again going to be showing us some really exciting stuff that we're working on. Jack Jack. Yeah. And then we got some reviews to wrap it up. Yes. Very right. excited. Let's uh, swim on in. I don't know why I'm, I'm swimming. Let's take a look. Like Splash a animation. <laughs> Splash. Like a dolphin. Oh, wait, so you're the best producer okay. in the world. Hi everyone, and welcome to a new segment we like to call The Concept Corner. Joining me today is the fantastic Jack Jack. Yeah. Hi Jack Jack, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Um, first off, uh, can you tell people what it is you do here? Who are you, Jack Jack? <laughs> well, I'm the concept artist here at Eugen. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So you, um, you basically, everything we see in game, is that you're doing for the most part? Um, usually I do draw draw the concepts out and then uh, Sarah or Matt take it into a final 3D modeling portion and then it gets implemented in game. Awesome, very, very cool. Uh, so today we are looking at gizmo concepts. Oh uh, yes. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your process when you're making these? Like what, what is a, a gizmo device? What is that to you and how did you go about concepting these for our players? Well, we started with um, the idea of what we wanted to add on to our gizmos, like what would be really cool to have eventually. <laughs> you know, wings came up and nice. a bunch of other cool stuff for functionality purposes. And um, we were thinking about, well, do we, do we want to allow people to do certain jumps or boosts? Mm -hmm. And then what's powering these gizmos and sort of that functionality. And then just as a lot of the uh, pre-work for me and I sort of just go back and forth with him on what it, uh, what it is mm -hmm. that we want out of these uh, parts that will attach to a gizmo. Very cool. So it's not just you're making designs to look good. You're also thinking about if this was in a real life thing, how would it work? Yeah. Right? Ah, very cool. Very cool. Um, I like that because uh, you also kind of took that uh, thought process into your uh, the weapons too, which yeah, those were fun. really fun. Yeah, a lot of surprises on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Super excited! So let's dive right into what you're working on right now. Um, I'm a little confused what I'm looking at. What yeah, are we no looking problem. at, Jack Jack? <laughs> so right now, um, these are essentially uh, one by one by one blocks that will attach to the gizmo. Uh, right now, we're looking at what would be the jump or boost. So we were trying to think of how you would, um, on your gizmo, get a boost forward or a jump up or a combination of both. So there was a lot of ideas about fans or just like um, sort of like horns being like like a, f a blowing force to put, like s send you across the field really quick. Very cool. So out of these uh, boosters that we're mm -hmm. looking at, um, has any of these been chosen yet for final design? I think number, there's three of them we're choosing eventually, but right now one, we did choose the box fan because that was, oh, awesome. that would look really cool. And if you made a boat gizmo, it'd be great. Oh, <laughs> that is really cool. Awesome. Awesome. So what else do we have for the future of our gizmos? Let's see. Ooh, I think I can guess what this is, but yes. what are we looking at? We're looking at the engine. <gasps> Whoa, now is the engine going to be functional as far as moving faster with it? Uh, or is this just to like look cool when you're booking it across the... Well, uh, hopefully columns. both functionality <laughs> and also the visual aspects. What were the final, this, do we have a final one for the engines? What are you looking at? Uh, yes, we actually do have a final one for the, the engine currently. Um, we went with the hamster wheel down here. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. Is that Super fun. It's, it's sort of like a mix of a hamster wheel and a, a, a regular generator. <laughs> nice! But the hamster wheel really spoke to us as do-it-yourself or something that you'd find in the house. Next would be the fuel tank. <gasps> that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. So tell me about this fuel tank. What do we got working? So it was sort of just funny because I was going with the actual fuel tank at first and then I was just like, can we just have a canister of <laughs> gas? Um, so this this was a really fun decoration piece, um, but there's also some unique ones. Uh, is that a mm -hmm. battery pack? Can you tell me about Oh yeah, that that's actually, um, we both, both Sarah and I were like, battery, we could just use a battery in the car. 
And it just added another nice shape because eventually I do want batteries in the game anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair. Because they look really cute as a block. <laughs> <laughs> so do we have a winner for this set yet? Yeah, actually we are doing the gas tank at the bottom left here and the battery. <gasps> We're doing both! Yeah. <laughs> ah, very cool. Super very excited. Cool. Very cool. All right. What else do we have going out? can't remember how many we had planned. Oh, so there's just quite a it. bit. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is uh, the work I did on the gun mount. <gasps> Wait, the can you just repeat equipment. that one more time? <laughs> the equipment mount? The gun mount? <laughs> <gasps> yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, we, so I sort of went all out and just used, I did reference the ball cannon as like potentially we use that, the sides as a mount and then you have your weapon in the middle. Uh, this is the one that you would attach to your gizmo, so you fire from your own gizmo on this one. Any weapon you have, you can just place it right in there, and it will it will fire when you use your gizmo. Wow! Anyone? Yes. Well, I, I yeah, I think so. That's cool. <laughs> so if I had a potato gun, I can attach it. Oh yes. And then just <laughs> very 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 cool. We're actually going for at least for the tier one. We're <laughs> going with this one right here. Oh, the Top little. Left. Um, Magnet. Yeah. Whoa. So tell me, it, so it looks like most of this is made out of metal with the two wood posts. Mm -hmm. um, what was the thought behind making it magnetic opposed to like having it traditionally strapped in or something like that? Um, well, the, the magnet allows for a lot of uh, versatility in the way <laughs> that we place our, our uh, equipment inside of it. And um, it's a little bit less explaining in the physics of that. <laughs> the reality of that. <laughs> so it, this is the, on your gizmo, this is the equipment that you mount yourself and you can fire and operate from within your gizmo. And then hopefully next page. <laughs> Let's get to it. Yes. Okay. So this is essentially the passenger station. This is where another player can get onto your gizmo and stand there. They can even bring on a weapon, their wow. own weapon. So and you they can, can help you. You can pull double duty on these gizmo now, huh? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Ooh, a traveling arsenal with your friends. Oh, it's kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> we actually went with this bottom right one here. So it has a little yeah. bit of the metal and a little bit of the wood. So it has a wood base and then a little bit of, you know, bent uh, pipes on the side. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I love that, that mix. It looks like there's tied with some rope. The details in your concept art are just, it stuns me every time. Aww, every time, you. all these little <laughs> details. Do you have anything else for us? Uh, yes. This? Oh, wow, <laughs> you are packing, I love it. <laughs> I know, there was a lot of work done recently. Oh, <laughs> wow, Jack Jack, you're incredible. This is what I'm most excited for, I think. Okay, yeah. tell, tell me, what, what am I looking at here? You're looking at the blocks that will be wings. <gasps> Wings. So they're one by one blocks for the gizmos that will um, act as wings. No. Lion. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is stunning. Uh, so for our uh, watchers at home, um, we did release our last update was to introduce flying gizmos. So you can now attach propellers to your gizmos. Uh, so this is kind of um, adding on to that experience of flying gizmos. Oh, huh? yes. <laughs> Very much so. Nice, nice. Uh, so which, so we looks like we have some mm -hmm. actual like airplane looking, uh, but then we have yeah. some really neat looking concepts. Like, can you tell me about this kind of makeshift one in, in the corner? Yeah, um, that one's actually based on some of the really early like flying machines. Mm -hmm. Almost very one. Da Vinci. Yes, you know, Like yes, the old, old Da Vinci drawings that, mm -hmm. that are pretty classic. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. And it would stack nicely next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> really stack. You can make a very long mm -hmm. plane. Mm -hmm. um, and which, do we have a, a decision on this oh, one? Oh, yes. Or still working? Yes, yeah. we do. Um, for our tier one, it will be this left one down here. Oh, very nice. I, yes. I like the idea that you kind of start off with something a little more homebrew and mm -hmm. then can work towards uh, more advanced thing like you mm -hmm. get better at building essentially yeah right? <laughs> it's nice that it sort of follows with your progression as in, as you played our game too yeah absolutely that's it yes that's it okay yes. very cool ended on the wings nice your favorite yeah <laughs> awesome jack jack do you have any final words on our gizmo uh attachments 
there's a lot to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> I love Gizmo. Awesome. This is a work of passion for you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm very excited to have certain pieces in for Gizmos eventually that mm -hmm. I can make my favorite themed Gizmo. What, uh, what would your favorite themed Gizmo be? I want to make an Odin cart. An Odin cart? Like what is a little, like, noodle cart, you know? Um, oh! Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to just use the, the ramen instead, but, you know. Ooh. Yeah. Right, well, right now I have a base worked out in my home base, you know, just like a basic idea. See how many blocks it'll take. That's incredible. I'm looking forward to your noodle card, Jack Jack. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing the gizmo attachment uh, concept art works. I made that sentence unnecessarily <laughs> long, but it's that's okay. Thank you. These are incredible. Uh, for those of you watching, uh, go ahead and let us know which uh, concept art are your favorites, what you're looking forward uh, for gizmos and anything you'd like to see added down in the comments below. We would love to hear your feedback on these. Uh, and thanks again, Jack Jack. Thank you, Timber. Yeah. But hang tight. We're not yes. done with you yet. Of course. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and roll right into player reviews Ooh. with Jack Jack. Our first review comes from Snoop Dogg. Jack Jack, what does Snoop Dogg have to say? Snoop Dogg has to say five out of five stars. And he says, devs, thank you for fixing the game for us. <laughs> You're welcome, Snoop. Uh, so this review uh, comes from, uh, we had a bit of a update faux pas that we fixed very quickly for you guys and got everyone back in game, thankfully. Um, and I updated uh, everyone with that. Mm -hmm. So Snoop Dogg, appreciate you getting back to us and uh, thanking us for fixing the game. Yes, You're thank very you. welcome. <laughs> Okay, so next up we have John Russell. Five out of five says John Russell. Thank you. <laughs> I love the exclamation. I really, I like the simple ones a lot too. Like just all caps. Thank you, John. Appreciate. And you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So our next review comes from Lollipop What? And this was an updated review. Oh, an updated okay. review. Lollipop What says, 5 out of 5, update, it's almost perfect, the game, the graphics are unique, the gameplay is fun and enjoyable, and everything is just good. The only problem that affects it are the controls, very laggy, but other than that, uh, it's a 5 star. It's a 5 star, thank you Lollipop What, and I also appreciate the feedback, I know sometimes we don't always share the, you're glorious and great and wonderful, uh, because part of that is, taking that feedback and being able to put it back into the game and make it better for you guys. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Lollipop. What? Appreciate that so much. And that's it for reviews. Oh. Thank you, Jack Jack, for yeah, thank reading you, those. Tyler. Appreciate it, and uh, thank you. Huge thanks to our concept artist, Jack Jack, for showing us some of the early concepts for our gizmo parts. We're really, really excited to be getting those to you in game, which is sooner than you think. Yes, yeah, so it was very, very good artwork. She is so talented, she blows me away every time. And Good job on those reviews. Yeah, thank you guys for letting us know what you're thinking and how you're feeling. We literally don't move forward without hearing from our community, so we really appreciate it. Yeah. We need you. We need you. Speaking of what you're thinking about, go ahead and drop a comment below. Let us know what you're thinking uh, and anything that you want to see added, anything you want to show off. We are all ears. And if you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button. We really appreciate your support. And of course, you can check out our next episode next Friday. We got a really exciting one for you. Oh no. Yeah. What is it? Oh yes. It is all about an update. Dun dun dun. <sighs> Find out more next week on yeah. Courtcast. Thanks for hanging, guys. Have Bye. a good one. Thanks. <laughs>